Hey everybody, David here from Multitool.org. Today we're going to take a look at the Leatherman Arc. It is the latest tool from Leatherman. It comes with a premium steel blade and upgrades to the Leatherman Free platform that uh, debuted on the Leatherman P2 and P4. It retains a lot of the features, but then also adds a couple new ones on top of that. Uh, what everybody seemed to love about the Free series was the fact that everything on the tool was one hand opening, um, which is a feature that we'd seen on other tools like the Swiss tool and a few other ones that had incorporated the outside opening tools. Um, but the Leatherman Free Series was Leatherman's take on that, where with a roll of the finger, or thumb, excuse me, you were able to deploy a different set of tools from either side. The, uh, the negative that people had was the tools on the free P2 and P4 were different than that of the Leatherman Charge, Leatherman Wave, uh, some of a different quality. Some of the implements were, they paled in comparison to what people were used to on the Wave, the Surge, the Charge, the Super Tools. Um, so in spite of it being a groundbreaking design with uh, magnetic architecture to keep the handles closed, to keep the tools from shaking out while in a closed position, the implements seem to, people really loved them or hated them. It, it's, it was kind of a, a, a different direction that Leatherman was going, and some people did not like it. The free line uh, they released... Uh, knives like the K2 and K4, they released the smaller versions of this uh, that were non-player based, like the T2, T4, I think. Um, but people still did not think that the tool set that was included was as great as what came before it. Um, so what Leatherman has released as an upgrade to the free series is the Leatherman Arc. The Leatherman Arc... Uh, comes with a premium steel blade that is the first multi-tool in Magna Cut Steel. Um, it is a very hot steel right now. Seems everybody wants to create knives that are made with Magna Cut. And I can't seem to get this to focus there. Um, has incredible edge retention, incredible corrosion resistance, uh, great wear resistance, a great all-around knife steel that has a lot of high-end characteristics, but not difficult to sharpen. Um, some changes that they've made to the uh, arc here is they took some of the tools that was on those famous older tools and have incorporated them on the arc. They, instead of a dedicated Phillips like we have on the original Free Series, they have put the bit driver back on the Leatherman arc as well as, um, let's see what else that was on the other one that people want. Oh, yes, the uh, the awl or reamer. A lot of folks like the awl because they could use it in substitution of a knife blade uh, for getting into some of those areas, but people also had a, a use for, like, boring a hole in wood, uh, making a new notch in your belt, whatnot. The... Microdriver is also a, another tool that came over from the Charge Waveline that people missed and was looking for on the Leatherman Arc. Um, nice tool set. I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the Wave and Charge series, and this gives me everything I loved in that series, but giving it to me in the free platform. Um, other than the new tool set, oh, excuse me, also on the tool set on the outside here we have a full size diamond file which on the P series was pretty pr pretty sad it wasn't diamond coated it was just a small small file let me see if I can find it here the file was pretty pretty small and did not offer a whole lot uh, on top of the diamond file, we also have a 
full length saw instead of something that's kind of cut down and short from, from the on the free series. Um, opposite of the premium steel knife is the same scissors that debuted on the free series. I like having one hand opening scissors. You just never know. Um, everything else is the same. Yeah, they added a um, DLC coating to the blade as well as to the body. I guess for out of wear resistance, but it just makes it a little less shiny. I don't really think it adds anything t to the tool or takes away from it. Um, everything is still standard free flare, I guess you'd say. Same pliers, same wire cutters. Everything that we loved on the P series, even though there was some stuff we hated, uh, is converted over onto the new arc. Um, with the the uh, bit the bit changer that is on the arc, um, it doesn't have the reach that we had on the P series. So I often, in my case, will carry a, a bit extender. And because it is a bit extender, I like to carry my my Leatherman bits. And these actually come with the the arc, this and the pouch, not not the uh, extender. Um, ever, ever since the arc's been released, I've been a happy user. I, I believe it is the best multi-tool on the market right now. Um, in spite of the hefty price tag, I believe it's well worth it. I feel that an awful lot of individuals... Um, those who gravitate towards the super tools, the the uh, surge, they're those are in a category all on their own. They are the strongest, most well built multi tools that Leatherman offers. This is probably next in line. This is probably more of a medium duty multi tool, as where the surge and uh, super tools will be classified as a heavy duty multi tool. Um, if you're looking for a 100% American-made multi-tool, look for the latest in advancements from Leatherman, as well as a possibility to replace your uh, pocket knife with a high-end steel blade. But I want to take a look at the Leatherman Arc. Thank you.